write a short note on open type of circulatory system this is my first question so it is asking me what is open type of circulatory system first write the definition the type of transportation system which supplies nutrients to the tissues directly is called open type of circulatory system oxygen is directly supplied to the tissues directly by the respiratory system example arthropods many mollusks and lower chordates second question list out the various ways fermentation process is used in your daily life answer fermentation process is used in our daily life in first preserved idli and dosa dao at our homes to preserve dairy products like yogurt third point to preserve pickles fourth point for bread making third question what do you think will happen if tubular reabsorption does not occur in nephron if tubular reabsorption does not occur in nephron all the essential nutrients will be passed always with the urine as in tubular reabsorption which occurs in pct nutrients will be reabsorbed but when it does not occur it will pass with the urine the body will get dehydrated as water will not be absorbed glucose so will not be absorbed so person will feel weak fourth question draw any one accessory excretory organ that you have studied we know that accessory excretory organs are skin liver lungs etc so you have to draw any one excretory organ this diagram of skin is also an accessory excretory organ so here i will draw skin as it's very easy so uh, no need to labor in this question because it is only of two marks just draw it fifth question how do you confirm the gas released during hydrilla experiment is oxygen so when a glowing match stick or an incense stick is introduced into the test tube in which the chemical experiment is performed it would burst into flames so that will confirm the presence of oxygen question 6 read the given table and answer the questions vitamin a d and e are given in first row retinol calciferol and tocopherol resources for vitamin a are leafy vegetables carrot tomato pumpkin papaya mango meat fish and so on for the resources for calciferol are liver egg butter cod liver oil etc vitamin e the resources are fruits vegetables sprouts and sunflower oil similarly deficiency diseases are given symptoms are also given now from this table some questions are given we have to answer those questions first question is which vitamin is called sunshine vitamin in the paragraph given in the question we can see that in the resources column sun light is given as resource so deficiency of sunlight means deficiency of vitamin d so answer is vitamin d first bit second bit how is vitamin a useful to us on the table we can see deficiency of vitamin a will cause eye and skin diseases so the answer for second bit would be vitamin a protects us from eye and skin diseases bit what are the sources of vitamin e for this answer see the row of vitamin e tocopherol resources in resources column we can see fruits vegetables sprouts and sunflower oil are the resources so my answer is fruits vegetables sunflower and sprouts fourth bit how do vitamins given in the table differ from vitamin b complex we know that vitamin a d and e given in table are fat soluble vitamins whereas vitamin b complex is a water soluble vitamin excess of fat soluble vitamins that is a d and e are stored in the liver and like vitamin b complex that needs regular replacement in the body Ninth question: Respiration is a type of combustion. Give reason. So in this question, it is saying respiration and combustion are same. Respiration is a type of combustion because in both respiration and combustion, oxygen is used to burn things at a lower temperature. In both, that is respiration and combustion, the same products like carbon dioxide, water, and energy are produced. oxygen combines not only with carbon but also with hydrogen and both are slow eight question what questions do you ask a physician to know about indigestion and its health consequences answer it the questions which i will ask a physician to know about indigestion are first which foods should i eat or not eat in order to prevent future indigestion is my health is my hectic lifestyle a cause of my indigestion should i drink more, more amount of water fourth question 
Is this indigestion a result of some primary disease or disorder? Fifth question, should I eat more amount of fiber to avoid indigestion? Similarly, you can add, add more such type of questions. Ninth question is, represent double circulation in human beings in the form of flow chart. From the body parts, the deoxygenated blood is given to the heart and the heart gives that blood to the lungs. The lungs purify the blood and the oxygenated blood is again given back to heart and that blood is again given to the body parts to gain energy. This, when the blood circulates two times in our heart, it is called double circulation. So this is the flow chart. Tenth question, appreciate the role of dialyzer machine. Dialyzer machine is used to filter the blood of a person when both the kidneys are damaged. In this apparatus, blood flows through channels or tubes which are embedded in the dialyzing fluid. This dialyzing machine or dialyzer separates the blood flowing inside the tube and dialyzing fluid. Then the clean blood is sent back to the body through a vein. This dialyzer performs the function of kidney by ridding the kidney from harmful nitrogenous waste. Section 3, 11th question. Write the differences between photosynthesis and respiration. This is of 8 marks. Photosynthesis occurs only in all plants and some photosynthetic bacteria. Respiration occurs in all living organisms. Second point in photosynthesis takes place in the presence of sunlight only. Second point in respiration takes place throughout the day. Third point in photosynthesis, a plant can survive without performing photosynthesis for a few days. Respiration, no organism can survive without respiration. Fourth point, in plants only a few cells can perform photosynthesis. All living organisms perform the process. Fifth point, in, fifth point, it occurs in the chloroplast and is dependent on light. Respiration and aerobic respiration takes place in cytoplasm and mitochondria and it is independent of light. Sixth point, photosynthesis. In this process, light energy is fixed. Sixth point, respiration. In this process, energy is released. Photosynthesis, seventh point. Raw materials are carbon dioxide and water. Respiration, raw materials are carbohydrates or organic starch and oxygen. Eighth point in photosynthesis, oxygen is liberated in the process and carbon dioxide is released. In respiration, oxygen is utilized and carbon dioxide is released. Ninth point in photosynthesis, there is an increase in the sunlight of organism. Ninth point in respiration, there is a decrease in the sunlight of the organism. Tenth point in photosynthesis, produce ATPs by using light energy. Tenth point in respiration, produce ATPs by oxidation of glucose. Point in photosynthesis, NADP is reduced to NADPH2 using hydrogen or water molecule. Eleventh point in respiration, NADPH is formed from hydrogen of carbohydrates. Point in photosynthesis, it is an anabolic process. Twelfth point in respiration, it is a catabolic process. Thirteenth point in photosynthesis, ATP and NADPH2 are used for synthesis. Thirteenth point in respiration, NADPH2 and ATP are made available for cellular activities. Fourteenth point in photosynthesis, 6CO2 plus 12H2 in the presence of light and chlorophyll gives C6H2O2 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. In fourteenth point of respiration, C6H2O6 plus 6O2 gives... 6 CO2 plus 6 H2 plus 686 kilocalories. Out of these 14 points, you can write any 10 to 12 points. 12th question, what materials and procedure have you used to find out the internal features of a kidney? So aim of this experiment is, we have to study the internal features of kidney. The materials required are freshly collected specimen of sheep's goat's kidney from the butcher or a 3D model of a kidney, sharp blade, scalpel, tray and a jug of water. So the procedure for observing this kidney is first wash the kidney thoroughly so that blood is completely drained from it. Second, put the kidney in the tray and observe it carefully. Third, note your observation in your observation book. Fourth, with the help of a sharp blade, take the longitudinal section of the kidney and observe the internal structure. So in the exam, you have to draw the two figures. Figure 1 is a figure of kidney of a goat and figure 2 is LS of kidney of a goat. That is the internal structure of the kidney is given in figure 2. So please draw the figure 2 in the question if it is asked. Questions. Arteries are the blood vessels which originate from the heart and supply blood to various organs in the body. 
They have thick walls. The largest artery is aorta. The relatively smaller one is pulmonary artery, which carries blood from heart to the lungs. Veins are blood vessels, which bring blood from all body parts of the heart. Veins have relatively thinner walls. The vein, which is at the anterior end of the right side of the heart, is superior vena cava, precaval vein, which collects blood from the anterior parts, head and neck of the body. The vein which brings blood from posterior parts of the body, hands, legs, etc. is inferior vena cava, post-caval vein. Now answer this question. First bit, name the largest artery in the human heart. The largest artery is aorta. Second bit, why do you think arteries have thick walls? Arteries have thick walls because blood pressure in them is high as they carry oxygenated blood from heart to different body parts. Second point, in order to withstand this pressure, the arteries are thicker. Third bit, state any one difference between arteries and veins. Arteries carry blood from heart to organs, whereas veins carry blood from body organs to the heart. You can write any difference which is there in the paragraph. Fourth bit, do you agree that the blood collected from the body parts need to reach heart for circulation? Mention your reasons. Yes, I agree that the blood collected from the body parts needs to reach the heart for circulation because first bit, blood which is collected from body goes to heart for pumping which later pumps oxygenated blood to different body parts. Second point, this carries nutrients to cells and takes away waste. So these are the reasons. Fourteenth question, explain the structure of chloroplast with a neat label diagram. This is the last question in part A. And also you have optional questions like in section 1 you have to do 3 questions, in section 2 you have to do 2 questions and again in section 3 you have to do 2 questions. So in this question first of all draw the structure of chloroplast. In this figure you can see the chloroplast is there in that you have stroma, grana, uh, starch grain, loop of DNA, lipid globule and membrane. Draw neat and also uh, mention the labeling nicely because it is an 8 mark question and then you have to explain it. So first point, in green plants there are special membrane bound organelles called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts occur mainly in the mesophile cells of leaves. Third point, typical chloroplasts are disc shaped and consist of three membranes. Fourth point, the third layer that forms stagged sac like structure is called grana. It is a site of trapping solar energy. Fifth point, in the chloroplast, there is fluid-filled portion called stream stroma responsible for enzymatic reactions leading to the synthesis of glucose, which in turn join together to form starch. These chloroplasts are green in color because of pigment called chlorophyll. Seventh point, the chlorophyll and other pigments of the chloroplasts are fat-soluble and are located in the liquid part of the thylakoid membrane. Like, share. Subscribe, click that bell icon.